Hi everyone, this is Khaled from GNS3 Talk and in this video I'll show you how to uh, run VirtualBox in Windows uh, 7. So let me go and find it and it's located under virtualbox.org. Go to download, Windows. We need to check out whichever version. Um, it doesn't really matter. It looks like that VirtualBox will supports the um, 32 and 64 bits. So I'm just going to click on Save. It's about 87, 89 meg. I'm going to pause this video until the download is complete. Okay, it looks like the download just took about two minutes. So uh, I'm going to run it. I haven't installed VirtualBox on Windows 7 uh, before, so this is my first time. So let me just go next. Um, I usually install all the components possible, so I'll uh, install all the components and run it from my uh, local hard drive. It looks like it's already been done, so go next. Shortcut on the desktop here, yeah, why not? And shortcut on the quick launch, yep, we'll go ahead with it. Uh, install the Oracle networking feature will reset your network connections and temporarily disconnect you from the network. Uh, yep, I'm not really running any anything critical in the background. Okay, let's install it. Um, from my previous videos, you might have noticed that I uh, I already have VirtualBox virtual uh, disks, and um, I'm gonna try now and see if I could uh, connect the VirtualBox into. Uh, on Windows into the same uh, virtual disk which was created on VirtualBox for uh, Linux. So let's just wait for it and see if it works. I'm using the same hardware. I just dual booted the uh, um, the operating system from Ubuntu into Windows 7. So sh hopefully I, I shouldn't be running into any issues. Uh, yeah, why not? Always trust software from Oracle. Uh, start Oracle here, yeah, why not? So we'll go finish. Alright, so it looks uh, pretty much similar to the uh, Linux version. Uh, okay, let me go on, go on new. Go next. Again, I'm gonna call it Windows XP Pro. Go next. I'm gonna assign it 1 gig. Uh, start of create a new hard disk. Now, actually, I'm gonna use an existing one, so I'm gonna use existing hard disks. I'm gonna choose my virtual machine, which is VirtualBox and Windows XP Pro. Hmm, I'm gonna choose this one and see if this would work, even though this one says flat. So let me see. Okay, it says five gig. All right, looks uh, looks good. Next, create. Let me just power it on and see if it's uh, if it's already set. Uh, auto capture keyboard. Yeah, I don't like seeing this message again. Well, fingers crossed. Let's hope that Windows XP will start. Yes, it is starting. Excellent. So this is a cross-platform um, uh, virtual disk, which is working on virtual box on both Windows and, uh, and Linux. Let me just confirm that I have Visio. Yep, it's the same. It's the same one that I installed. So that was probably one of the quickest uh, installations of VirtualBox ever. All right. So in this video, I, the process is not just to install uh, VirtualBox. The process is actually to link VirtualBox into into Genesis 3. So yeah, it looks beautiful. Let me just shut it down. It's taking longer than expected to shut it down. It's fairly quick. There you go. Alright, let me just get turn it off. Yeah, that's it. Alright, let me jump into GNS3. Uh, yeah, why not? I'll probably just um, 
just gonna cancel it. I'm not really going to create a project. Alright, let me just drag one of the routers here. And let me just go and see. Obviously, when I go on virtual box, I guess I drag it and drop it here. It says we need to configure it. So the first thing we need to do is go edit, go preferences, then go virtual box. Let me test it. This is going to delete your current topology. Yeah, well, there's just only one router on the background, so yes. Voila, so it says it's started. So I guess I'm lucky. VirtualBox guest, VirtualBox guest. From the drop down menu, hopefully, it should have Windows XP. So yes, it does. So I'll go Windows XP, network interface card. Uh, leave it, yeah, leave it as one or two. Go save. Let me apply. And okay. Okay. Before I go ahead and add VirtualBox, let me just close GNS3. Go back again to Oracle. Virtual box, and I need to actually adjust the settings and see how many interface cards that I have on this uh, system. So if you go network, you could see that there's only one interface card that I've uh, that I've allocated into it. And this interface card, uh, for me to connect to any Cisco router, it needs to be changed as and as a host only adapter. So you go host only adapter, and don't connect it. Make it cable. Uh, untick the cable connected option. And go OK. OK. If, say that I need to have two adapters for this virtual machine. Uh, I need to go to the uh, global configuration uh, or the preferences of the virtual box. Go to network. And you can see there's only one single virtual box adapter. I'm going to add another one. OK. There's a, a warning that came up. Yep, OK. Which is the user access control, account control warning. And you can see adapter 2 has been created. I'm only going to go ahead with two adapters only. So go OK. All right. Let me go again into the uh, virtual box for that particular virtual machine. You could go right click settings or you could just click on the settings. And network. And you can see from the drop down, drop down menu, I have two network adapters now, not just one. All right. So I'm going to map this adapter into network adapter 1. And adapter 2 will be mapped as a host only adapter into a network adapter 2 and I'm gonna disconnect it from here so I'm going to be okay so everything is done now I'm going to exit go back again to GNS3 just cancel it we've already set up virtual uh, box, box earlier I'm going to drag one of these routers and uh, Guest operating system as well. Just let me rename it. Call it PC. And let me just go fast Ethernet. And choose Ethernet 2. Again, as explained when I uh, installed VirtualBox in uh, Linux, I'm not too sure why Ethernet 1 is grayed out. It's the same as Linux. I believe Ethernet 1 is grayed out because of uh, its use for management. That's um, uh, That could be it. And... Uh, all right, so uh, let me just press on start, and VirtualBox should start along with the router. It looks like there is some sort of a delay in Windows 7 compared to Linux. Linux is fairly instant, uh, instantaneous. All right, I'm just going to allow access, and it looks like that the router is starting, and so is my. Uh, Operating system. I need to configure it and see uh, if, it, if it's actually connected and it's working. All right, so enable. I'm going to set up my uh, router as the H DHCP server in this case. So it's going to be DHCP server and network. I'm going to do it 1.1.1.0/24. Network interface card of the router is going to be dot one, and the router one obviously using fast Ethernet zero dot zero would be assigning IP address into the PC. Okay, I just made a few changes, so uh, okay, so let's see how it goes. Okay, so Windows XP uh, just put it up, and you could see there are two network adapters, uh, one of which is currently connected 
however it, it's limited or has no connectivity uh, the reason is uh, the physical connect uh, connectivity is made between the router and the PC however there is no layer 2 no layer 3 uh, con uh, connection um, so what I'm going to do first now is to uh, to just right click well actually let me just bring up the uh, uh, the network connections and you can see these are the two connections alright so let me just go and set up the uh, uh, the DHCP settings for this router so config T interface fast ethernet 0.0, .0. Let, just to confirm we are on the fast ethernet 0.0, .0. just hover the mouse here yep it is and uh, go IP address 1 9216A.0.1255255255.0 .0. Go no shutdown and exit. Now we need to go. So, yep, the uh, the uh, interface went up. Now we need to go set up the uh, DHCP. So, IP DHCP pool we call a test and the network is going to be 192.168.0.0 .0 .0 24. Uh, I uh, and the default router is going. The default router is the uh, IP address of the uh, of fast Ethernet 0.0, .0 of router one. So my my interface fast Ethernet 0.0, .0 is going to be the default gateway for this PC. So the default router is going to be 192.168.0.1. And press enter. And that's about it. That's what I need so far. Alright, now uh, you can see that the, there is still limited or not connectivity. The quickest way to see if my DHCP is going to assign an IP address to the PC is I'm going to just disable it. I'm going to enable it again and let's hope that the uh, network interface uh, or the Ethernet port will be assigned an IP address. You can see it's connected now. Let me just double click on it. Go to support and you can see it's 192.168.0.2. Alright, the best thing to do now is just to try and ping it. So go to ping 192.168.0.2 uh, and it's pingable. Let me just go to uh, command prompt. You got CMD and going to ping 192.168.0.1. Voila, and everything seems to be connected. So, yep, this. Um, this was this was quite a smooth uh, installation of VirtualBox along with uh, Windows XP. Um, VirtualBox, as you may know, is, uh, is similar to uh, virtual machines that are uh, fairly popular, but the difference is VirtualBox is uh, free. Well, I uh, I hope this has been informative, and thank you for watching.